Hi class, my name is Madison. Um, as my inspiration piece, I chose this painting of um, a spine and a brain with the nervous system showing. Um, I chose this piece because I work in chiropractic. I work with the body. I, um, you know, work with rehab, with patients, physical therapy, all that good stuff. Um, and so the brain and the spine actually really fascinates me just because it supports your whole life. Without your brain, without your spine, you wouldn't have a body, you wouldn't have knowledge, you wouldn't have many things that we use our brain and our spine for. The spine is very inspirational because like I said, without it, we wouldn't be much. But this portrait right here means a lot to me because of the way the artist painted it. If you look at the brain closely, you'll see that none of the paint actually touches. Um, it's kind of like he used a dot method with his paintbrush, but looking further down the spine, you can see this technique a lot better. In my painting, I decided to go with more of a simpler approach. I decided instead of showing the nervous system that I would portray it as sort of like a plant. Um, just like the body, plants grow when getting the proper resources. Um, and that is kind of why I decided to add the two together. So if you look at this one, this is the inspiration piece. And putting that one down, and showing this one, this is my piece. As you can see, instead of doing the bottom of the spine, the lumbar spine to be exact, or instead of adding the nervous system, I decided to go with a simpler approach and use a pot. So inside of a pot, if you've ever gardened before, you'll see that the roots grow crazy inside of the pot, inside of the dirt. Um, and that's actually why repotting is important when planting because the more a plant grows, it's gonna need a bigger pot. Just like us, the more we grow, we need bigger clothing, right? So it's the same thing with plants. Just like the stem of a plant, it supports the flower head, just like the spine does. So if you notice in my portrait, I portrayed the spine as sort of this stem that supports the flower up top, which would technically be the brain if we were looking at my inspiration piece. The artist that I chose as my inspiration piece uses a lot of color um, and a very, uh, a very unique technique. Unique was the word I was looking for. I myself am not much of an artist, so I was not trying to recreate exactly what he did, but more so make it myself like the project had mentioned. If you come up here to the brain or so the flower, what it looks like, what the painting looks like, um, I portrayed the top of the stem as a flower, but I also wanted it to be in the shape of a brain. So that way it still gives off that spinal brain vibe. The flowers up top I chose because to me your brain is beautiful. It holds so much knowledge and wisdom and it carries every part of your life, your memories, everything you know, what you want to eat, where you live, it holds all of that. So the reason I drew flowers is because much like the brain, flowers are beautiful and they carry a lot of love. I added butterflies so the canvas wouldn't be so simple because again, um, they all just go kind of well together. And I'm actually really proud with how um, the spine turned out. I tried to include each vertebrae, but it was pretty difficult drawing them myself, of course. Um, so I did stencil it out just a little bit, but the paint and everything else is all hand drawn. I am so happy with how my version turned out. I, like I said, I'm not much of an artist, so the fact that this did turn out good and it is, you know, pretty nice. You can put it on a wall if you want to. I am pretty proud of it. And so again, to compare the two one last time, this is the original and this is my piece. Both very colorful, 
but they each have their own originality to them.